Welcome back to One Shot. It is time. We're back, Nico. Hey, Chris. Welcome back. I'm sorry you have to be sad, Nico. Um, I wish I could get you to a bed every time I wanted to quit. But there just aren't beds, and when there are beds, you're not tired. So, we're in this, in this uh, underground not quite safe watery place in in the second ring I don't know whether they should be numbered in to out or out to in but either way this is the second one because there's three so I'm starting to guess something about the story and that is that um, I'll tell you once we're done with this computer hello again Chris it seems I need to help you again. Nika will not be able to progress otherwise. This time, the information you need has fallen to the most easily accessible place on your machine. Would that be the desktop? Do you see it? Hmm, I'm looking. Moving the window around. Um. Yeah, it's my wallpaper. Yes, I see it. Okay, you'll know what to do with it then. This is cool. It's also a little bit creepy. You know what, I'll take a screenshot of this and uh, I will post a screenshot in the video editing. Okay, back to the game. Okay. So I have this pattern and it's in my brain. It does not look like this, and I guess I gotta put it somewhere, do something with it. So yeah, my theory for the story, actually. These vines appeared mere minutes ago. Really? I've been seeing a lot of them in doorways and stuff. I just assumed it was because this place was abandoned. A sign of distress. Huh? A living being is in need of help. But I cannot trace the source. Ah. My, my theory is that the story is not going to end when we put the sun in the lighthouse. Because one, there's a side quest that involves having our hands free. And for two, the characters are all like, yeah, no, the sun isn't going to save the world. It's just going to slow it down. Anything over here? Yes, there is. Hello, person. Two children reside near here. The pathway is blocked. My blocks! <laughs> All right. Let's see what we have down here. It's out. Nice big open area. Quite plain, actually. Some vines, I guess. S Savior? I can't believe it. You're real. Miss? Are you alright? No. We should get you to the village. Maybe they could. It's okay. It's okay. Too late for me. But the sun. I haven't seen it. I haven't felt it in so long. Savior, if it's not too much trouble, can you lend me the sun for a while? I. Will it make you better? No. It will not save me. I just want to experience the sun one more time before I. Well. Oh, would it, would it be too selfish of me to ask? I don't want to give this to you. I think you're suspicious. I think that's a bad idea. I'm going to come back and see if there's anything else I can do later. Okay, so it looks like I haven't been here yet. 
Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello. Did Dr. Sillipoint send you? No, I'm with Chris. Oh, carry on then. Hello, person. Welcome to the research station. Hello! Are you sent here by Dr. Silverpoint? That's the same dialogue. So they don't want silver? Phosphor trees are now being protected under the new laws. Please do not harvest them. I'm not. Phosphor tree growth rate has been reduced as of late. Uh, yeah, I did see that building up there, but I thought this would be... A, I don't know what I thought. Um, I'm going to go in that building pretty soon. As soon as I finish looking around here. Ah, it's another tear in the fabric of reality. Monitoring anomaly. What is that thing? An anomaly. Well, yeah, but... Yeah, I can see it. It's, it's an anomaly. It's full of little gas tubes of water. Water samples! Hello, living person. Hello. I have collected a duplicate water sample. Would you like it? Um... My programming says that organic beings need water to survive. So I shall offer it to you. Oh, uh, sure. We'll take it. <laughs> this robot's like, Oh, i take some water out of here. Who needs water? I'll give it to them. They will appreciate it. Yeah, but we can just take water ourselves. It's not like there's... It's not like it's privately owned or anything. Beep boop. Water collection project resuming. The first beep boop robot. I already went that way. So now let's go into this building that we saw over here and talk to these people. A different colored robot. How come you're red instead of green? Well, more of a purple than red. But your eyes and stuff are red. I am only here to pick up this week's moss samples. I will return to my station in the city soon. I see. I am in charge of collecting the moss samples. Cool. Hello, person. This is the main generator of the Glen. Ooh. Chris and I actually fixed one of these earlier in that place across the ocean. This generator does not need to be fixed right now. Right, you guys already have power and all. A couple of fireflies are buzzing about in this jar. A generator. This one's got a working battery. couple of the uh, fireflies that buzzing around in the jar. Well, that looks like there's all in this area. So I'm going to go back to wandering. Oh, I should uh, probably be reading this guy's voice since I don't think I've seen this dialogue. Nico asked if he was from the village. He says, I do not remember the voice I gave him. I don't remember why, but our father left the village when we were still young. We've lived in the ruins ever since. Well, it's just Alula and I now. I can't lose her too. I think I saw her. Like, she got vines growing out of her head and stuff. Alula's all I have. I can't lose her. Well, I'm pretty sure that we're going to have to go back to Vine Girl and give her the sun, and then she's going to take it, and then we're going to have to go on a side quest because we we're so naive that we let this girl 
take the sun because why would we ever do that other than the fact that the story requires that we do it this ram is chewing on a ball of moss now I'm curious what do you think they taste like Chris probably tastes like grass the moss, not the ram. Oh. I think the moss probably also tastes like grass. So I ran around the whole island and I didn't see anything that looks like a place to input the pattern. And so, uh, unless it's hidden away inside one of the buildings or something, I decided to just come back here and progress the story. What should I do, Chris? Uh, can I choose don't? It doesn't do anything. I uh, give it to her. Here! Warm. I've almost forgotten. It's so warm. That's good, right? The vines should be gone now. I'm not afraid anymore. Aww. Son, we're leaving it with her for now. Okay, Nico. Now I was saying that I want I want you to to gain some agency and make some of your own choices. It looks like you've done it. And um looks like somebody is being helped because of it. I am suspicious. Like that is the son of the world. I am not I am not I I don't want to leave it with anyone. Still block blocked. Yeah, I don't want to trust the sun to anyone. Oh, that's this place. What do you say, robot? The vines receded. Do you know what happened? I found this plant person. She was barely holding on. I gave her the sun for now, but she said it was too late for her. I understand. I need to report this to the city. Uh, okay. Yeah, I still think we did the wrong thing, Nico. Are there more vines over here? No. I mean, maybe it was the right thing, but the risk was not the right thing. Ah, here we go. So here's what the pattern looks like. Hello, person. You saved me! Oh, this, 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 this is probably... Actually, I have no idea who this is. You saved me! Thank you! I was trapped in there for so long! So are you Lula? You knew my name? Wow, the Messiah really does know everything! Actually, I just met your brother earlier. Oh, right! Gosh, Calamus must be so worried. Can you bring me to him? Okay. What's in here? Nothing. Oh yeah, uh, full screen. Let's go. Wait a minute. How'd you know I was the uh, Messiah? I don't have his son with me. Your eyes! Huh? They reminded me of the sun! Oh! That's why you're our messiah, right? Well, I... A lot of people back in my home world have eyes like mine. Home world? Yeah. 
I'm actually from another world, you see. It's a place where the sun is in the sky and not in a tower. Do you like this world too? I... Yeah. Yay! Gladys keeps saying how this world is getting more dangerous by the minute. But that's okay, you're here now. You can make everything better. Yeah. Let's go. So I guess now my hands are free. I can I can uh, do the the ram herding mini game. What's up, robot? That little person, please do not use the ruins below partially flooded. Just like we said before. Don't want to sleep here. All right, now we got Alula. And we gotta go take her back to Calamus, which apparently is his name, since I don't think he gave it to us. And he is right here. Calamus! Alula! You're okay! Thank goodness! I was trapped inside this room and it was really scary. But then the Messiah saved me! Trapped? In the ruins? Yeah! There was that weird stuff at the door. You know, the floating squares we see next to the ocean sometimes? The stuff you told me to stay away from? What? It's spread to the ruins now? This isn't good. Don't worry, I didn't touch it. I'm not hurt or anything. Still, if it gets any worse, we might have to find somewhere else to live. When is this square stuff exactly? Bad. Anything that touches them just sort of gets messed up. Whenever you hear people say the world is decaying, that's what they meant. Obviously, you should avoid them too. I will. Anyway, uh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my sister, Savior. Just call me Nico. Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by your name? Huh? Why would it be? I mean, I'm just a kid like you guys. Ah, uh, then would you like to visit our house, Nico? Yes. Yay! Let's go! These high voices have not been good for my, uh, voice. Oh shoot, looks like we can't get past that block. Seriously? <laughs> I'll be up ahead. I literally never thought of that. You get kind of used to all the debris after living here for a while. Come on, our house isn't far from here. So, uh, welcome to our home. I know it's not much, but feel free to make yourself comfortable. Oh, you have a club journal too? Ah, there it is! Here, we want to give you this. I love these. This art is so gorgeous. I have to look up who the artist is for this game so I can give him a shout out. Oh, a feather! The edges are glowing yellow! It's a sacred feather from the Great Prophet. Oh? Yeah! She's this old lady our dad used to know. Her feathers can glow in the dark and she can see into the future! What? Or something like that? She gave one of her feathers to father before she died. Father wanted to pass this down as an heirloom, although it feels more fitting for you to have it. Are you sure? Totally sure. I think it's what father would have wanted. Thank you. 
Uh, I think you should have kept it as an heirloom. Don't just give people stuff because they're chosen ones or or saviors or stuff like that. That's, that shouldn't give them special privileges. There's a clover symbol on the cover of this book. Hey, just like... Oh, my book. Gosh, I still need to finish studying it. Oh? My friend gave it to me for a solstice day. He's the one who wrote it, actually. He's also the one who taught me how to read. Ooh! I have a few more of his books somewhere. Can I use this book on you? Oh, by the way, what happened to the sun? I lent it to someone in the ruins. She said she wanted to feel the sun again before she... Oh, you must be talking about Maisie. Is that her name? She's a powerful plant spirit. She used to protect the glen. But once the sun died, her health rapidly deteriorated. Oh. I'm glad you were able to find her in time. I think we might already be too late to save her. I know. But I'm glad she got to see the sun again. Don't react to the book. One day I'm going to remember to press triangle to access the inventory instead of start. <laughs> it's good to be home again. Looks like spoiled food. Oh no. I guess that's what happens when you leave your house for three days. <laughs> Jars full of dried moss. Sometimes that can be edible. And like, super sustainable too. Fireflies! That was the wrong voice. <laughs> Jars full of dried fish. I, I look back in editing. It's a jar full of worms. And uh... Notice how my Nico voice has evolved over the playthrough, and uh, I like I like how his voice is how I like how their voice has evolved as the as the series has gone on. And I've like broken into it, I guess. Is a fishing pole? Do you like fish, Nico? Yeah. So do we. They're good in stews. Or soups. But I know people back home who like to eat them raw. Ew! <laughs> yep. It's a plush toy. That's mine. Our friend gave it to me last year. Oh? Yeah, he has a fox too. And she can even talk. What? I know! I thought she was the coolest thing ever! So he got me a fox plush for Solstice Day. Oh, that's nice of him. He's the best. Aww. He's a bed. Well, more like a mattress. The back room is full of dust and cobwebs. Okay, I guess I'm not going there. Uh, I'll talk to you. It's good to be home again. I'm gonna... So hopefully, if I keep Let's Playing more games, I'll get some good girl voices. I hope the squares don't spread too fast. I think that's all I can learn now. I can go this way. Are these the squares? Hey! I saw you go into the courtyard. So I thought I'd tag along. Same. Cool. But I gotta keep doing your voices if you do that. These aren't the squares, are they? Yeah. There's an entrance to an underground passage here. It's flooded, though. This is the court. That's the Nico voice. This is the courtyard. It's got water and stuff. It's a ball. That's mine. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. 
I'm I'm not doing a good voice separating Alula's voice from Nico's voice. Not doing a good job, I mean to say. This looks like a path is gonna open up. What's in this house? It's a dungeon. So before I do that, I wanna go do the RAM minigame. Um so yeah. We'll go do that. Okay, here we are. And hopefully, um, we can wrap this up before it gets to be, uh, before it gets to be over half an hour. Last week's video went long, because I lost track of time. I mean, yesterday's video. I do not remember what voice I gave this guy. Oh, I see your hands are now free. Would you like to help me herd my rams? There's a great reward in store for you, I promise. Uh, yes. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you're stuck, ring a bell. They'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Oh, so like... This one doesn't matter? It's uh, down here, okay. Well, I've only got two options here. Can I walk over him? I guess not. I think that might have been the wrong thing to do. I gotta push this one twice. This one obviously goes there. Um, have to go through here. Can't push this one or it gets... Well, it might not get stuck. Um, we can go up. No, we want to bring this one down. go. Those dark patches look like holes. No, no comments on the jars. And I guess we can ring these and uh, start over while standing here? I'm not going to try it though, because that's the answer. You've provided a great service for all ram kind. <laughs> In return, take this final ram wool. This fine ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. I got ram wool. Can I combine it with the feather? I can't combine those. Nope, can I combine it with the water? Can I combine feather with the water? Water probably gives me ink. And I can uh, and combine it with something and then take it to the, the big robot. All right, well, I guess this is a good time to quit for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.